It's the television event of the year, and Married at First Sight Season 9 premiere certainly didn't disappoint on Monday night. The episode kicked off with plenty of drama as Gold Coast Operations manager Tamara Georgievi clashed with Sydney hospitality specialist Brent Vicillo just minutes after saying I do. But the most awkward moment came later in the ceremony when judgmental Tamara, 29, turned on Brent, 33, after finding out he worked at a nightclub, which turned out to be only half true. Fussy bride Tamara was immediately disappointed by her affable groom when they met at the altar he does seem like an average kind of guy. Average just isn't for me. I'm not average. I don't do average the surgically enhanced blonde told producers. He doesn't appear to be what I've hoped for. Maybe he's not as much of a man as what I did ask for. So he does seem like your average kind of guy. And um, average just isn't for me. I'm not average. I don't do average. Just moments after exchanging vows, Tamara asked Brent where he lived and what he did for a living. Tamara was lost for words when Brent told her he worked at a popular Sydney nightclub, which she assumed meant he was a party boy. While Brent's line of work occasionally requires him to go to nightclubs, he is actually an events manager who previously ran a successful business in Dubai. When he clarified this point, Tamara was visibly relieved. But the worst was yet to come for the newlyweds. Later, when the couple sat down for dinner with two friends, a frustrated Tamara called out Brent for his lack of etiquette when he used the wrong fork. You don't seem to know much about your cutlery, she snapped. You might like things one way and I like them the other way, but my way has to be the right way. Tamara went on to insist. You'll learn very quickly that I always wear the pants in a relationship. She then shocked her husband by saying she could never date someone who works in retail because it's below her. Brent and his best man Levi Newfold later went for a private chat to discuss how things were going. Later in the evening, Tamara berated him for a minor mistake while cutting their wedding cake, but the tattered hospitality worker refused to say sorry, which drove her mad. Their spat descended into a farce as Brent refused to apologize to his wife for handing her a knife the wrong way. When producers asked him what he thought about his bride, Brent said he'd married a psychopath. Things went more smoothly for Melbourne-based salesman Anthony Sincotto and executive assistant Selen Mengu, who had it off as soon as they laid eyes on each other. The couple connected within seconds of meeting for the first time and were relieved to discover they both had children from previous relationships. Why? She is my bride. I must have died and have gone to heaven. I can't take my eyes off her, 38-year-old Anthony said with a twinkle in his eye. This is my family. This is your family. It's happening. He whispered to his bride as they started to giggle. Selen also told producers she was pleasantly surprised with her match, adding, seeing his kind eyes means everything. Immediately I feel that spark. 